Skip, 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 skippity, 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 do that, man. Um, you've always got to be careful about the choices you make because they could come back and unhaunt you. Guys, I'm going to keep it a stack. A big inspiration of me doing the football hot and me actually being like a YouTuber that does football, reviewing football games, is because of Skip. Because I was like, bro, remember, Skip was the guy who started with, 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 with Gold Cold Pizza, but when I looked at that first take format and just how you can bring so much personality, tenacity, and character to sports debates, I was like, this right here is... This is this is the next big thing. This is this is crack right here. If you can bring the kind of psychology that Skip Bayless brings to sports de- de- debates, this stuff is like crack. You can watch this every single day. So he was a huge inspiration because, bro, I watched pretty much. I, I've watched first take almost frequent all the episodes. But obviously, it's 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 changed and everything. Undisputed with Shannon Sharp, that was. The sports program I watched all the time. And for Skip, I just think that, you know, and Skip, he will know. He may not say this in, in public, he might say this afterwards, but in private, he will know. You messed up. You should have never disrespected Shannon like that because that was a golden, gold dust. Having him, having him there was what well, was called gold dust. But even beyond Shannon, do you know what the issue is? Things change. Things change. Because, so basically, when I started watching um, First Day, which was, this is probably like the late 2000s, like, so like 08, 09, 2010, around that era, um, the people doing these sports debates were journalists. Skip Bayless is a journalist. Um, Stephen A. Smith is a, is a journalist. Literally, before I started recording this, I just got done. I was just watching Gills Arena. And what is Gills Arena? It's a show of former NBA players, Gilbert Arenas, Kenny Martin, Rashad McCants, and Brandon Jennings. Because what they now bring is a particular perspective that the journalists can never bring. It's a journalist that can never bring. It's how we now you see like Rio Ferdinand having his, his own show. Real Fernand can give you an aspect of playing football that journalists can never bring. So, even the show, there's a podcast, The Rest is Football with Guy Lineker, Alan Shera, and Mikari Richards. They can give you a perspective that other guys can't bring. The CBS show, Jimmy Carragher, Thierry Henry. So, for me, like, I watch Girls Arena every day. Every freaking day. That is literally my repeat. I watch it every day because not only do I like basketball, you know, that's like my second favorite sport. Not only is it entertaining, not only is it extremely dynamic, but the kinds of things that they say and the insight they have, I'm like, no, they, a journalist could never say this stuff because they're just particular intangibles and just particular details that they can only know by playing at the highest level. So the landscape changed. The landscape completely changed. And then you bring in Cameron and Miss who because of their personality, because of what they are, and because of their character, that is just another kind of dynamic that's now a different slant from what Gills Arena is. So, the, the field changed. Bro, I cannot remember the last time I watched an episode of Undisputed. I can't. And I'll be real with you. I cannot remember the last time I watched an episode of First Take. Literally, for all my basketball stuff, I go to one place, and that is Gills Arena. That's it. Like, I made double on um, Paul George's pod. Or, I mean, which other do I do? I, I mean, then obviously you've got Cam and Mace, and then I may go to, is this Rashid Wallace? I mean, but mainly, mainly Guilds Arena, Guilds Arena, Guilds Arena. So I watched. So for Skip, I think, because even when, because I, I, I used to watch like clips of everything, you've got like these, I think you've got Keishon. Then you've got Paul Pierce. Then you have Richard Sherman. And it was a mess because with Undisputed, it was very well structured. Shannon on one end, Skip on one end, moderator, have great chemistry, boom. But now when you're looking at this, it's like, 
it, it, it's it's like what is this bro what is this what is this like what, what's happening so and skip will just know that yeah i messed up skip undervalued the importance of shannon sharp and he thought that yeah, okay fine sharp can can, can can do that but once he's gone oh i'm irreplaceable because and this is the mistake that skip made skip couldn't he didn't have the foresight he didn't have the foresight to see oh no this is the next big thing shannon sharp is the next big superstar because bro look at freaking club shay shay forget about what you're doing on first take look at club shay shay who has had the f the most viewed interview in youtube history shannon sharp with cat williams so he has just gone to the stratosphere and i think he should because we only we only know no, this is this is a very dynamic guy and i think what you have to understand is people want pe guys that they can relate to if you look at gilbert arenas this is just guys it's not clean cut with suits and speaking to a manner and speaking to a kind of bro most of the time, you can't even hear what these guys are saying because these guys are just arguing, but it's authentic. It's real. And that's the thing with Sean and Sharp because he speaks with a lisp, with a very heavy country accent, but it's authentic and it's real. So, for, Sha for, for Skip, and this sounds, it will sound crazy. I'm looking at just what where the space is now. I, because, Bro, it ain't 2008 anymore, bro. It ain't 08, it ain't 09, it ain't 2010 or 2011. It's a very different world. And I just don't... Because, again, it's the same thing with Steve, Steve, Stephen A. Smith. Love him or hate him. Look at his dynamic personality and his character and now where he's been. I just feel that with the way the world is right now and the way the field is now, I just don't know where... I just don't know where you can fit in a Stephen A. It's, I don't know where you can fit in a Skip Bayless. I just don't know. I... I think that the world has moved past him. And I just don't think that he can evolve to, to in a stage where he cannot compete with Cameron Mace. He cannot compete with Stephen A. Smith, compete with Shannon Sharp, compete with Gills Arena. I just don't think he can. So, um, yeah, man. Because, again, like, I've consumed Gills Arena so much and I'm so used to the very free, real format that feels very organic. I can't go back to the very structurized nature of Undisputed and First Take. I just can't go. When I'm looking at First Take now, I'm like, nah, this is lame. This is lame. But when you look at Gilder, no, I want to see guys chilled out, sitting back, arguing where, oh, it feels like you are talking. It feels like you're talking with, 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 with the guys in your house. It feels like you're, you're talking with, with, with guys in your house. So, um, that's the thing, man. So, skip. I mean, guys, tell me what you think. Maybe I'm wrong, but I just feel that once Skip now lives undisputed, because he remember he has his own YouTube channel. It's not really taking off as much as let's say um Shannon Sharps or Stephen A. Smith. So I think Skip just knows that. Yeah. I I I don't think there's any space for, for me here now. I just don't think there's any space for me. I think everything has moved past, and I just think that th the competition has just become greater and the competition has now moved past me again you always have to be very careful about the decisions you make because it can come back and freaking haunt you